I'm showing you how to download Worst Client for Minecraft versions 1.8 through 1.8.9. So you want to go to the link in the description, which will be down there, together with actually my Discord server link, which, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, right here you'll find the latest version for the 1.8 versions, of course, right here. So you want to just scroll down a little bit until you find this downloads area. and. If you're on Windows like I am, you just want to choose the worst installer for Windows. Then depending if you want the one for Optifine or not the one for Optifine, you choose yourself whether you want to use Optifine with it. Um, anyways, I'm not going to use it with Optifine, that's just simpler for right now. And of course, we're installing it for 1.8, so we can click on this one in the bottom left over here. And that's actually going to automatically start our download. So as you can see, I have West Client right over here, the zip file, which we just downloaded. So we can go ahead, right click on that, and then click on the Extract All option over here. We need to do that because it is, in fact, a zip file. Um, depending on your operating system, you might not actually have that as an option. And if you don't, well, then I'll leave a program, either 7-Zip or WinRAR. They're both fine. Um, I'll leave one of the two probably down in the description and you can use it. Anyways, right over here, um, we have the zip file and the new extracted file folder. We don't really need the zip file anymore, so if you wish, you can just go ahead and delete that. So now we can open up this worst client folder over here. Now in this folder, you'll see three things, and we want to look at the worst installer.cmd. Um, this is the one we want over here. We can go ahead and double click on that, and as you can see, that's going to open up right there. This file path, you can just keep it the same over there, unless you've changed it, and you'll know if you have. So um, basically, almost everyone could just continue over here. Then you want to click on this install button right over there, and then it might potentially give you an error. Couldn't find Minecraft 1.8 at then through the file path. So then what you need to do is just quickly go ahead and start up your Minecraft launcher, just like so. Then go to the installations tab and click on new installation. Here we need to make a new installation for the version it just told us, which in my case was 1.8. So there we go, release 1.8, that's the one that I'm then going to select, right? Um, so that's great, I'll just call this then um, maybe release, there we go, 1.8. Seems fair enough, right? Pretty logical name right there. So I can just go ahead and create that, but that is not enough. It is now important that I select it through here. There we are. And that I then click on play. Understand the risks of playing an older version of Minecraft, of course. And then this is actually going to prepare and then it's quickly going to download something just as Minecraft always does when starting up a new version. Anyways, now that I've fully started this up, as you can see right here, I can just close this like that. Now I can try again. So the worst install.cmd, double click on that, and then we can click on install over here. And now as you can see, worstmc 1.8 has been successfully installed. Once you've done that, you'd want to just once again open up the Minecraft launcher. And as you can see right here, we have worstmc 1.8 selected right over there. Now, um, you know, if you can't, if it isn't automatically selected, well, then you just want to scroll through here and it'll be there. If you still can't find it and it did say it was installed correctly, well, then just either restart the launcher or just your device altogether and it will work. Anyways, now that we have that right there, I'm going to go ahead and click on play, understand the risks, and I'll quickly show you how this works. Upon opening up, They'll just get this little thing over here. Just click on go play. And as you can see, we are using worst. So what I'm going to do right now is just go into a random world here. And now here I'll give you guys a brief tutorial on how to actually use this client. So now first off, probably one of the most important things out there. Um, just quickly get that away there we are you so you want to press on the right hand shift button and that is going to open up this big big menu over here with every single utility that this client has as you can see there's quite a lot so you can also search for things over here as you can see although this didn't really narrow it down a lot anyways the fact that there's a lot of things is really actually only positive
Anyways, um, these up here are all utilities. If you're not sure what they do, you can hover above them and as you can see, you'll get a brief description right over there. To enable them, you can click on them like so, and they'll be listed in the top left hand side. As you can see, I can enable all these, and they'll all be put in the list there. I can disable them all again, of course, by just once again clicking on them. As you can see, each utility also has a green arrow. If you click on the green arrow just like so it's actually going to give you a bit of a larger menu so it'll give you the category it's in and the description sometimes a little bit more of a description than you get from hovering over it and depending on the utility you'll get more or less customization settings as you can see here for this what is this auto fish i can choose my valid range right pretty simple one of the more important things though is the fact that you can actually set a keybind for every single one of these through this menu as well i can press on escape to go back to this main area let's see if i can find one with a little more customization not really there we are amazing so the bow aimbot as you can see here um, i can really just adjust this to my liking um, I can choose what I want to do, do what I want, you get the idea. Now, um, if we actually scroll down to the very bottom, most of these up here, they're actually sorted by alphabet as you can see, and these are all really the more hacks. Um, and if we scroll down here and get past the dot, then we'll find some I suppose different types of utilities. So at the bottom right here is X-ray, which is a really often used one, which is always useful to just see that down there. And as you can see, after this um, sorting right there, and as you can see, after the ones with all the dots before them, which I will actually get to later, we have a bit of more utilities right here. So we have the option to disable worse. We can use Yes Cheat Plus, which as you can see makes other features bypass and cheat plugins, um, which in this case is turned off. Um, we can choose to enable or disable the worst logo. We have Zoom. We have the Tab GUI, which allows you to quickly toggle mods while playing. So all of these are a little different than the ones um, up the top here. You also have the hack list, which um, if I scroll up, of course, I could turn on the things and they'll be put in this little array list or hack list, as it says over here, up the top there. Um, Maybe you don't want that, and if you don't, well, then you can scroll down to the bottom, go to the hack list, click on the green arrow, and then you can actually turn that off as well. So we can change the position if we wish to do so, of course, and we can also just hide it there or choose for it to show us a count of what we all have enabled. Now, there is actually also a different way to access this menu that we've just been in. So instead of pressing on the right shift button you can also press on the right control button over here and that is going to give you this list um, as you can see in this case they're all going to be sorted by type I'll try and organize this a little for myself of course you can do so too if you wish you can click on this arrow and it'll give you um, as you can see there's there, there's really too much here um, and it'll give you as you can see sorted by type all the things that we saw there as well so let's say you really want to just use these utilities mainly for movement well then this is a really good way to sort them and of course this works the exact same as we saw earlier so we can click on these click on them once again to disable them and we can also click on the arrow over there and that is going to give us this customization menu which is now all overlapping everything um, do keep in mind that you can scroll in some of these just so you don't maybe miss out on things potentially anyways that is basically that um, some people prefer this menu I'll drop down a few more things here um, and you know personally just because of how many utilities worse actually has um, I tend to prefer this one now, as we saw earlier, if we scroll down a little, there's a bunch of things with dots in front of them. Um, as you can see, really quite a lot over here. So, 
dot annoy all the way through to dot x-ray and what these are is they are actually commands the dot works in the same way as the slash would in vanilla minecraft right so let's um choose one over here dot give for example you might recognize that from the command slash give in vanilla minecraft anyways all of these are commands as i said you can type them in the chat um, and i'll show you an example with the dot give over here so i can left click on this right over here and as you can see it's going to give me a little bit of the syntax right there as well as a description of what this command is actually going to do if you need more help you can click on this help button which will open up a web page or you can actually right click on it as well and that is going to open up the same web page for you for this specific command um, which will allow you to hopefully use it a little better anyways we can up the, open up the chat here and type in dot give let's say i have a terrible memory and i still can't remember how to use it well now by just only typing it in it'll also give me the usage over here so that's great so how to use it well you type in dot give and then the item name the amount potential metadata and npts of course those are optional um everything between these brackets over there those are optionals um so what is the item name going to be let's go um diamond block of course why just give yourself diamonds if you can also give yourself diamond blocks right let's give ourselves that many not sure if there's a cap on this for the rest i'm good um so sadly i i can't, I can't do that right um so here we go dot give um diamond block there we are and i'll type in 64 and there we go i now have uh, 64 diamond blocks to my name so that is basically how that works and so do all the other commands so i can scroll here a little again and um, basically all of these will allow you to do stuff in real time through this chat system over here now a question i get pretty often is will other people be able to see these chat messages the answer to that is no um, only the client side person so the one using um, boris client will be able to see this anyways basically um that was that if you do have any questions or stuff like that then do just feel free to leave those down in the comments below but for right now thank you ever so much for watching and i do hope to see you again in the next one Bye bye